It is critical for students to understand power dynamics because power is everywhere. It's a force of social influence and I want students to feel prepared. So to me, power is a fundamental source of information that all students should understand. I think it's absolutely possible to wield power ethically. If power makes us more of who we are, there's an opportunity there to use that power in ways that benefit others in addition to benefiting ourselves. I think power gets a bad rep because we do know that people in power abuse the power and abuse others, but power can be used for good. If you have intentions that are communal or focus on benefiting others around you, power becomes your gateway. It becomes your pathway to make influence and have an impact on those people. My students often at the beginning of my semester will say, I don't feel powerful. By the end of the semester, my students all realize how accessible power is for them, and that can in turn impact their career success, the money that they're making in their work, the quality of the relationships they have with each other. And I tell my students on the first day of class, life is not fair. We don't all have the same starting point. We don't all have the same access to resources, for example. However, the more uplifting part of the story is that power is accessible to all of us. There's ways to play the game authentically, to be genuine, to be sincere, and to form meaningful connections with people around them. I actually tend to believe some of what Elizabeth Gilbert and other writers have talked about. If you're warm, if you're safe, if you're fed, it's your obligation to help those who are cold and not safe and hungry. And I truly believe that all of us can then turn around and help others around us who may not have those same opportunities or privileges. Power makes us who we are at a heightened level. So I like students to think and ask themselves, how would they act if they have power? If they already have power currently, how are they treating others? What are their thoughts? What are their behaviors? I think that level of self-reflection shatters the idea that power is inherently bad. It's more what you can do with it that makes a difference. <laughs>